Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this short video will be about the Yari Samurai Unit. Let's begin. The Yari Samurai Unit only requires the Yari Drill Yard Building, which requires no arts. It has double the upkeep and almost triple the recruitment costs compared to a Yari Ashigara Unit, but every stat is better except for its unit size. However, this is an upgrade from the Yari Ashigari for two reasons. First, they lose the Yari Wall ability, which makes them much weaker in terms of defensive power. The Yari Wall has the same defensive power as a Yari Samurai unit, and when both units start getting experience, the Yari Wall actually pulls ahead while still being much cheaper. The second reason is because the Yari Samurai don't fulfill the same role as Yari Ashigaru. Let's look at the unit card again. The most noteworthy stat isn't their incredibly high melee defense stat, but actually their high charge bonus, which seems out of place for a defensive unit. On top of that, the Yari Samurai gain the Rapid Advance ability, which gives them speed and even bigger charge bonus. However, their relatively low melee attack prevents them from swiftly killing enemy units in sustained combat. So, what to make of these seemingly confusing stats? Well, Yari Samurai can actually fulfill two roles. The first is being an emergency response unit, being able to quickly plug gaps or simply reinforce your frontline with a rapid advance ability, or to quickly move and defend against enemy cavalry. The second role is to flank, but instead of going against enemy melee infantry, they focus on enemy missile units. Missile units are so bad in melee that Yari Samurai will still easily beat them, especially with their charge bonus. The rapid advance makes them also less vulnerable to missile fire, and their spears protect them from enemy cavalry trying to intercept them. Concerning province boost, both melee attack and armor are beneficial for both roles. Armor will protect them against missile fire and add to their defensive power, while melee attack will make it easier to kill their opposing units. The Yari Samurai unit has two clan variants, the Hattori variant, which gives them Vanguard deployment but have increased upkeep, and the Data variant, which requires an armory and is more expensive, but has better melee stats and armor. However, they lose a bit on their charge bonus and are marginally slower on the battlefield. In conclusion, the Yari Samurai unit might seem confusing at first, but if used as either an emergency response unit or a missile troop hunter, they will excel at their job. Don't expect them to be strong in Yari Ashigara units, so only keep a few Yari Samurai units in your army. Thank you for watching.